This is the Lock Picking Lawyer, and the lock I have for you today is the Chateau Model C970 70mm disc padlock. This is a lock that was sent to me a good long time ago by Jess Hall, and I proceeded to lose it pretty much immediately upon receipt. I finally came across it today as I was organizing my locks into a new cabinet. So we are going to do a short video and see what it takes to pick into this lock. If we look carefully at this keyway, we can see that it has a very tight little reverse Yale style keyway. And those keyways can be particularly nasty when you pair it with difficult bidding. And we do have, I won't say really bad bidding, but it is pretty challenging. So it's probably going to give us some issues as we try to navigate the keyway. Before we start, let me just show you this lock works nicely. So I can see from just looking at that keyway that someone's been spending some time picking it with top of the keyway tension. For keyways like this, I actually prefer bottom of the keyway tension. And that's the case because it's a little bit more comfortable with the angle for my finger. And it doesn't matter between top or bottom of the keyway because the pick is going to be levered off that tiny little bit of warding you see on the left side of the keyway right here. So since it doesn't get in the way and it's more comfortable, we're gonna be using some bottom of the keyway tension. I'm also going to be using the Sparrows SS Dev Short Hook, which is specifically designed for navigating very tight keyways. So let's get to work. One is loose. Okay, I might have gotten a little click out of two. Click out of three. Click out of four. Click out of five. And I might have gotten something out of six, hard to say. Nothing on one. Nothing on two. Three feels set. Nothing on four. Five or six. It's exactly what happened the last time through. So I let off a little bit of tension thinking maybe we overset something. And now number two is binding and we just dropped into a false set. Nothing on three, four, five, and six. They all feel set. Okay, number one. And there we go, got it open. Okay, so certainly this lock puts up a bit of a fight, at least one spool, and I know from picking it a couple times before I turn the camera on that there is at least one or two other spools in there. So we only encountered one just because of the binding order of how we picked it just now, but there are more. All in all, not a bad little lock, certainly puts up a bit of a fight picking, and with the design of it, it's well guarded against someone trying to use bolt cutters on it, just not enough access to that shackle. And with the stainless steel construction, probably a pretty good lock for outdoor use. That's all I have for you on this Chateau model C970. Jess, thanks for sending this my way and sorry it took me so long to get to it. To everyone else, if you have any questions or comments, please put them below. If you like this video and would like to see more like it, please subscribe. And as always, have a nice day. Thank you.